Namaste. So this is Erin and I am going over an asana practice that's brief that will help to energize you. I find that sometimes throughout the ebb and flow of my day, I get a little bit tired and that usually means that I need to rest, I need to clear my mind, and sometimes I need to do something physical and be in my body and then that helps to reinvigorate me and give me energy. So I hope that what I put together today for you will help you as well. <laughs> so you'll need two blocks for this practice. So you can grab two blocks and then I'm gonna step to the top of the mat. So I'm mostly an Ashtangi, so I stand with my toes together, but however you stand. And just stand tall for a moment, open up your arms, lift your chest up towards the sky, and pull your belly in, puffing up your back ribs. Tuck your chin, glide back your throat, and look straight ahead. Bring your palms together to heart center, inhale. Oh. Place the arms down and inhale, reach your arms up, stretch your whole side body and bring your palms together. Shoot out through your fingertips like a rocket and plant down through your feet like roots of a tree. Exhale, fold forward, taking your hands onto your blocks and use them as some slight leverage to bow forward, tucking your chin if that feels okay for your neck. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, right foot steps off to the side slightly Sweep your left leg back, toes curled, land back on the ball of your foot. From here, inhale, get light on your fingertips, hug the thighs toward one another, and inhale, come up. So here, we're stretching out the front body just a little bit. I'm going to lift high in the ball of the foot in the back and then press back into my heel. Two more times. This is going to get you from the root of the front of the body plugged in. Drop down to the knee. Hug the right hip back to the left, hug them both in, and inhale, come up. Should feel a bigger stretch in your quad. Exhale, take the hands down, look forward, step up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Get light on your fingertips. Sweep your right leg back. All right, from here, hug the thighs toward one another. Push the top of the ankle back and in as you straighten that back leg. Bend the knee one more time, do the same thing. And extend back through your right leg. From here, reach your arms up, stretching out your whole front body. And then exhale, come on down. One more time, gather up that strength, pulling into core, and then inhale, reaching up, lifting up the back knee for one last big stretch. Exhale, take the hands down, look forward, step your right foot up, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, come all the way up. And exhale, relax the arms down. Let's do that again, adding just a few more elements in. Inhale, a come reach your arms up. The way, exhale, forward fold. Leany half lift. Chachwadi, step back with your left leg. Bend your right knee, hugging into center line. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take the left hand down, twist open to your right. So hug the hips to the left, twist open to the right, and reach out through your left heel and out through the crown of your head. Deep breaths. Take your right hand down, look forward. Open up your left hip. Straighten your right leg. You might pull your right foot uh, block back and inhale, open up your hips, extend the top arm. Energize through your feet, energize through your legs and out through the crown of your head and fingertips. Look down, take your left hand onto your block, right block steps forward, inhale, lift up the left foot, step forward, lengthen up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, come all the way up. Let's go right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back with your right leg this time. Hug the thighs in toward one another and inhale, sweep the arms up into Anjanasana, Hanuman's mummy. So this is a precursor. If you get really good at this, you get good at the splits. 
Exhale, take your right hand down, hug the hips to the right, twist open to the left. So by doing this, you're kind of cracking open the spine a little bit in a nice, sweet way that will help you get energy flowing through your body. Exhale, take the left hand down, open up your right hip now, straighten the left leg and extend the top arm up. So all the while energizing through your legs, pulling that energy up into the core of your pelvis and out through the crown of your head and out through your fingertips. And exhale, right hand down. Step forward, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, come all the way up. And exhale, relax the arms down. All right, we're gonna do one more and then change it up a little bit because I wanna make this quick and effective for you. So here we go. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, left foot steps back. Come down to the back knee. Hug the thighs toward one another and inhale, sweep the arms up. Try to keep the hips low and if you want, you can lift up the back knee. Exhale, bring it back down. Round the back slightly, look over your right shoulder. Extend the arms and then cross the left elbow across the right thigh. Press the elbow into the thigh, hug into center line and then twist open. So twisting and back bends help to energize you. If you haven't caught on. <laughs> hug into center line, inhale, lift up that back knee. Exhale, take the fingertips down. Keep hugging into center line, extend the arms out in front, elbows come down, inhale, arms open, reach the arms up. Now let the top of that back thigh really come down and if you wanna lift the back knee, you can. Mm. Exhale, hands down. Look forward, inhale, step up, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, right foot steps back. This time, come down to the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. So hugging the thighs toward one another. You're hugging all of your energy from your extremities into your core here. Inhale, if you want to lift up your back leg. Exhale, knee comes down. We're gonna twist to the other side. Follow my voice. <laughs> Right elbow comes across the left thigh, palms together, resist your hips to the right, twist open to the left, and lengthen out from your tailbone all the way out through the crown of your head. Good, inhale, untwist. Give it one more big shot. Open up your chest, open up your thigh. Maybe lift up the back knee. <laughs> Take the hands down, look forward. Inhale, step the right foot up, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, come all the way up. Mm, exhale, palms down to heart center. Whew, that definitely energized me. I have just a little bit of glistening, a little bit of sweat. Okay, so we're gonna step open the right foot and we're gonna turn the heels in and toes will go out. Inhale, reach your arms out. So we're gonna do goddess pose. We're gonna add in Simhasana breath, which is lion's breath. So inhale, reach up, grabbing all the good energy from the universe. And then exhale, we're gonna come down, bake a mudra if you like, and go. <sighs> inhale up. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Last time, inhale, exhale, good. Take any little movements you want to take here. It feels good in your body. I like to mix in free movement when I take my personal practice because it allows some freedom and fluidity within structure, which I definitely need. <laughs> All right, inhale, look forward, step up. Palms together to heart center. Whew. And just notice how you feel. So that was just a brief flow. Hopefully uh, you felt something nice in your body. 
Um, you can certainly extend this and keep going, but sometimes you just need a little boost midday, and that's the idea here. So thank you so much. You can check me out at thriveyogafit.com. Again, my name is Erin, and I'm the owner of Thrive Yoga and Fitness.